Aren't you glad that God gives us victory? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How many knows that you can give it over to the Lord yes. and He can fight some battles for you? That's right. Amen. I'm glad that God lets us know a little bit of secret. And that secret is that He can give us victory if we just give it over to Him. That's right. Amen. If you give it over to Him, that's the key to victory is if you give it all to God and let Him fight the battles for us. Amen. Turn with us in your Bibles. We're going to go to the book of Psalms, chapter 139. Excuse me, 143. Psalm, chapter 143. While you're turning there, we want to say once again how we appreciate being here. We appreciate the presence of the Lord that we've already felt in the house. Amen. It wouldn't be the same without the presence of the Lord in the house, right? Amen. We need Him, do we not? Well, I'd hate to get to a place where we can't have church without the Holy Ghost. That's right. Amen. I need Him. You need Him. I tell you what, sinners need the convicting power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I praise the Lord for His good spirit that we feel here tonight. Amen. Psalm 143. If you got it, give us a shout of amen. 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 The Bible says here, this is a psalm of David. He says, Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplication in thy faithfulness. Answer me and in thy righteousness. And enter not into judgment with thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He has smitten my life down to the ground. He hath made me to dwell in darkness as those that have been long dead. Therefore is my spirit overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is desolate. I remember the days of old. I meditate on all thy works. I muse the work of thy hands. I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsteth after thee as a thirsty land. Selah. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faileth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy loving kindness in the morning. For in thee do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk. For I lift up my soul unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake. For thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. And, thou, and of the mercy, cut off mine enemies and destroy all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Would you pray with us here this evening? Thank you, Lord. We praise you. Magnify the name of Jesus Christ, dear Lord. Thank you, Lord, for another privilege and opportunity we have here tonight. Lord, to assemble ourselves together, Lord, in your holy tabernacle. Thank you, Lord, for the singing, the songs. Most of all, for your spirit that we feel here in your house here tonight. Lord, I pray right now for the help and the anointing and the touch of the Holy Ghost. Lord, I need you. Lord, I cannot operate without your touch. Lord, I pray that you move on your church here tonight. Let your word go forth. Lord, let it fall upon good ground. And Lord, would you move upon their hearts and their lives here tonight and touch your church in Jesus' wonderful name. Amen and amen. Thank you for standing for the word of the Lord. Amen. For a few minutes this evening, I'd like to preach on with the help of the Lord on going through the valley. Going through the valley. Amen. How many could agree with me here tonight that life is not always accompanied with the mountaintops experience? Amen. I wish I could stand here before you tonight and tell you it's always going to be the mountaintop experience like Peter, James, and John all experienced there as they was on the Mount of Transfiguration there of Jesus Christ. Amen. But life is accompanied both with sunshine 
and with the shadows of life. Right. The Christian's pilgrimage is at times even the smooth plains, the smooth highways, the smooth roads, but sometimes it's those rocky gorges, it's those valleys, it, it is those dark places that you and I have we go through sometimes. Amen. And here David finds him himself in this place. How many knows here tonight that David was a man that visited the valleys quite often? <laughs> Amen. He was a man of very many sorrows. He found himself in the afflictions of many things in many places. Amen. Most of the time it was brought on because of his own sin, his own negligence. Right. Amen. But sometimes, amen, it's not because of our sins. It's not because of our own negligence, but sometimes God causes you and I to go through the valley of life sometimes. I amen. I don't understand sometimes, amen, why we go through dark places, why we go through those dry valleys, amen, the valleys that seem, amen, like we are at a all-time low. But right. could I tell you here tonight that David found himself in such a place. Even David here in this psalm. They say that in the psalm. It's even that David was writing here in 143. Was when David was running from his own flesh and blood. Absalom. Absalom was after him to destroy him. His own father. Even could you imagine that. Even till David no doubt. Even with these verse number 3 is where I want to focus in on 3 and 4. Could you imagine the agony and with him. Uh, with a very sternness in his heart, even and with a desperateness right here that David writes, and he said, For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. Oh, even have you ever been there, my friend? Even when it seems like the enemy has persecuted your soul. Even not only that, but David said he, he's not just persecuted my soul. Even he has it just caused me to go through the valleys and the dark places of life. Even in, at a low point, spiritually speaking. But he has smitten my life down to the ground. Even that's pretty low, is it not, church? You can even that is a low place to be. Even that was a low place where David was in his life. Even he had to look up. Even just to see the bottom. Even as that praise goes. Even David was at a low point in his life. Even but let me tell you here tonight. Even even though David was going through the valley. Even though David was going through a low point in his life, spiritually speaking. Even but he knew who. Even that he was going to bring him out of the valley. Yeah. Even he knew that there was somebody that he could still pray to. He knew God's his part. Even that there was somebody even that could uphold him by his right hand. Yeah. And so what did David do? There was a supplication even for the righteous. Yeah. And he knew David knew. And the same God that brought him out of the valley before was the same God that was going to bring him out of the valley right here. Even Jeremiah said this in Jeremiah chapter number six and verse or two and verse six. He said, "Neither said they, Where is the Lord that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, that led us through the wilderness, through a land of deserts, and of pits, through a land of drought, and of the shadow of death, through a land that no man passeth through, or no man dwelt." Oh, even there is valleys that you and I experience in our lives. Even and I don't understand why the Lord lets us go through certain valleys in our lives. But I realize, amen, there are different valleys that you and I face here tonight. There is valleys of sickness, amen, that you and I face in our lives. Valleys of trials and persecutions that we face, amen, even valleys of death, amen, even like the similar one that David talked about in Psalm chapter number 23. Remember that famous verse, amen, the Bible says, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Even, even though David was going through a valley, even he knew that there was only one help that could bring him through the valley. There was only one place that 
that he could go to. There was only a refuge that would not tell him. Amen. There was where man failed him at times. Even there was a man, even that tried to help David, but nobody even could help David out of the valley that he was going to. Amen. Have you ever been there, my friend? Amen. When it seems like our family, amen, could not help us through the valley. When it seems like our best friends, amen, couldn't help us through the valley. Amen. Or even a good church, amen, cannot help you through the valley. Amen. But sometimes, amen, it only takes the Lord God Almighty. Amen. He knows each and every one of us. Amen. He's the one, amen, that can walk with you. He's the one that can hold on to your hand. Even when you go through the valley, amen, I don't understand. Even the rocky gorges that you face in life, I don't understand. Even the loneliness that we all face sometimes, amen, but I do know this. Amen. There is an enemy after every one of our souls here tonight. Amen. You know what he wants to do? He wants to get us to a point just like David was right here. David said the enemy has smitten my soul. He had made me to dwell in darkness. Amen. He made me to make myself down to the ground. He has spent my life down to the ground. Amen. Let me tell you what the devil, he likes to get us down in the valley. Amen. You know why? Because we are at a low spiritual state when we're down in the valley. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hallelujah. Right. We know what valley is all right. Yeah. We're familiar with them in this area, right? Yeah. They're usually a low point in life. Yeah. A low point in an area. Right. Accompanied by two ridges, two mountains, yeah. two hills. Okay. Valleys, that's what David was going through right here. Yeah. No. Job passed through the valley. Job went through the longest valley that he probably ever faced in his life. Afflicted in his soul, afflicted in his body, afflicted in every just about way that you can imagine. But you know one thing that Job did, he trusted in his maker that knew that God was going to bring him through the valley. Hallelujah. Even I know, even there was many people in throughout the word of God that we can look to, even and see that they came through out of the valley. Even, but let me tell you, we all go through valleys of life. Even, but the question is, even not just going through the valleys, even, but oh, there is a danger here tonight, even of staying too down long in the valley. Even, I agree, even that we all got to go through the valley of the shadow of death, just like David spoke of, even in the 23rd Psalm, even in this place right here, even he said that right here in this chapter of 143 that he would not go down to the pit, even that was a low place and spent my life down to the ground even that was a valley that David was going through, even but I'm here to tell you tonight, even you know, the danger is, even when you go through the valley, even there's too many people they stay down too long Hallelujah. Even they let the pressures of life get a hold of them. Even you know what they do. Even when they go through the valley, even of the shadow of death, even they think about the problems, they think about the persecution, they think about the trials, they think about the tragedies in their life. And you know what? Even they seem before too long. Even they think about the negative parts of everything. Even let me tell you, negativity. Even when you think about all the bad things, even it causes you to go through the valley even longer than what you should. Hallelujah. Even how many has ever met somebody that likes to glorify the problems. Even I like to tell you everything that's ever they've ever done in their life and what's going on wrong. Right. How many has ever met some of those folks? I hope you're not here tonight. <laughs> Amen. I don't like talking about my problems, to be honest with you. Amen. I really don't like to glorify Amen. everything that I'm going through. Amen. I don't like to pronounce it. Amen. I don't like, to be honest with you, I don't like even to tell everybody about it. Amen. But I do know one thing. Amen. I'd rather talk about the goodness of God. Amen. I'd rather talk about His mercy. Amen. That endureth forever. Amen. I'd rather talk about the beauty of holiness. Amen. I'd rather talk about His strength. I'd rather talk about His own suffering. I'd rather talk about the grace of God. Even that has been shown for in my life. Even that's what I'd rather talk about. Even, but let me tell you, even some people when they go through valleys, even they stay down too long. Right. 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 Even some people they die. 
in the balance. When they go through trials, when they go through the fire, when they go through circumstances of life, even when they go through the valley of the shadow of death, when they don't feel like son, anybody's with him, when they don't feel anybody, even packing their back, even when they don't feel, even like anybody's walking with him, even that's when some people, even they sit out there and die in the valley. Yes. If you could walk with us with David, no doubt, no doubt, David. As he was going through those dark places in his life. Yes. No doubt that place, that loneliness. Yes. Separation. Yes. Oh, I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't like being separated from God. No. No. Oh, I don't like feeling that separation. That's why I like to have my heart clean. Yes. Even a, a clean hands. In a pure heart, so I don't. I don't, when I go through things in my life, I don't feel that separation between God. Amen. But you know what? When David was walking through that valley, no doubt that he passed through many tombstones along the way. Even no doubt, David. Even that he passed through the markers of those that he went to church with. No doubt that he passed through even the many milestones that people even that went through the valley before and they did not come out. Even all because. Because even they died in the valley, even they let the tragedies of life, even they let all the things that come their way, even they let the trials and the situation, even they let the sicknesses, even they let backslidings, even they let the last times, even get a hold of their hearts, even it draws them down. Even how many knows here tonight, even when you go through low points in your life, even the devil's not going to stop, even even when you're at your lowest point, even even at your when you all the time low. The devil does not like to stop there, Brother Spark. Even but you know what he's after? He's after to steal. He's after to kill. And he's after to destroy each and every one of us. Even in the easiest place where he can do it is right there in the valley. Because right. if he knows if he can defeat you right there, he's got you. Wow. Dying in the valley. I remember, I remember there was a family that went to my dad's church many years ago. I remember they, they was great help to the church. I tell you, we could never find a man that better work than this man. He did a lot of things. Big help. They went through the deepest trial of their life. <coughs> Got to a place he had, to go, he had to do some time. Remember, I was just a young boy, about 12, 12 years old, somewhere around there. I remember watching them just in an off distance. Remember the trial that they went through. Remember the reactions of all the things that came their way. And all of a sudden, it seemed like the valley got the best of them. Amen. Simply because they did not see a way through and a way out of the valley. Oh, could I tell you here tonight, amen, that the devil wants nothing more, amen, to blind our eyes, amen, to put a haze over our eyes, amen, so we can see that there is no way out, amen, of the valley. Oh, amen, I'm here to tell you tonight, amen, oh, the devil, amen, he likes to destroy us there in the valley, amen, but I'm here to tell you tonight, amen, there is a way out, amen, David said, and I will go through the valley. Hallelujah. Even, even though David, even he prayed for the Lord. Even yes, his life was smitten down to the ground. Yes, it felt like the enemy was breathing down his neck at some time. But you know what David said? Thou art my refuge. Even Lord, help me to walk in your will. Help me to walk in your steps. I'll trust in you. Even let me tell you tonight. Even if you're holding to God's unchanging hand. Even if you pray to him. Even if you keep all of God. Even though you don't know, even you can't feel him, even though you can't see him here tonight, even there is a way out, even there is a way out, even if you can't go through the valley. Amen. Woo. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 There was a lamentation for the inquiries. He was asking questions. 
But David, he made a petition for deliverance. Right here in these verses. David said, hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faileth. Oh, have you ever been there? When you felt like your spirit was failing. Yes, sir. David was in this place, but he prayed, Hide not thy face from me, lest I cry be unto them that go down into the pit. Oh, amen. You see, there was a place, amen, that nobody returned. And David did not want to go. Amen. And in the place, some people, amen, that had left and died. Amen. In the valley of the shadow of death. Hallelujah. Amen. But oh, I'm here to tell you tonight. Amen. If you stay true to God, amen, there is an evident truth here tonight. Amen. If you hold on to God's unchanging hand. Amen. What was it in the Psalm 23? I already quoted it. But he said, yea, through, I, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Amen. I love the point. Amen. That he says, I will go through it. Amen. It's not a one way street. Amen. It's not a dead end. But he said, there is an entrance. Amen. In this valley. Amen. And I'm here to tell you tonight. Amen. There is an exit. Amen. When you get out of the valley. Hallelujah. Amen. This is not. Amen. The end result of you here tonight. Amen. You don't have to go under. Amen. You don't have to stop. Amen. You don't have to be dead. Even here in the valley. Even don't set up to you. Even don't dwell. Even in these low places of life. Even all the enemy likes for you. Even a dwell in low places. Even I'm telling you here tonight that the child of God even is meant for higher places. Even in the valley here tonight. Even he wants you up on the mountaintop. He wants you up even in the high places. Even oh God is our refuge. Even a perfect hell in the time of need here. Hallelujah. Even I'm here to tell you tonight, even that God can't help us through. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, David said, Oh, I, this poor man cried unto the Lord, and he heard me. Hallelujah. Even if you've been praying to God, even though let me tell you, if you've been praying to God, even if your connection is clear to heaven, even here tonight, even if there's nothing in the way, even between you and God, even if you pray to God, even God will hear you. Even even though when the heavens seem like their brass, even when it seems like even all the heaven is shut up, even let me tell you, God does still hear. Even God does still hear your prayer. Even just be praying. Even just walk into the valley. Hallelujah. 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 David said in one Psalm 108 verse 12 Give us help from trouble for vain is the help of men. He realized man couldn't get him out of this one. Realize all the money in the world, all the money that he had in his bank account, couldn't get him out of this struggle. Right. Right. He realized he came to the end of his own insufficiencies. He came, he realized he couldn't do it by himself. He had to have a higher power. <laughs> there is a high tower the righteous can run into right. and are saved. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. What, what about those sisters at Bethany? Amen. Martha and, uh, and Mary and Martha, whenever Lazarus, amen, was dead, and it seemed like, amen, Jesus hadn't came on the scene, and it seemed like Jesus didn't care about it. Amen. What was it? It was several days that came by. Amen. Could you imagine being those, amen, those sisters during those times, amen, of troubles in their life, amen, and there on the, on the last day, amen, Jesus finally showed up. Amen, let me tell you. Amen, oh, I know it may be a longer time, amen, than what Mary and Martha went through. Amen, the darkest time of their life. Amen, the man that they loved. Amen, the man that they trusted. Amen, the man that they knew. Amen, what 
that's how it should have been for there. Amen. And he was caught. Amen. But I'm telling you, amen. All those three days later, amen. Jesus came upon the city. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm here to tell you tonight. Amen. Oh, just stay home to God. Amen. He will show up. Amen. He will walk through you. Amen. Through the midst of the child. Even in Daniel, even the three Hebrew children, we know the story. Even what would Tim Nebuchadnezzar do? He threw three men in the fire furnace. Even and what was the fourth man? Even there was somebody. Even that was walking in the midst of the shadow. Even of the valley with him. Even let me tell you tonight. Even God is still with you. Even he will go with you. You enter the valleys. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You come get us a song, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Gracious God. Hallelujah, First Samuel chapter 17. David was fleeing from Bithyphel. I think it was a servant that David came up to David and said, Lodge not this night in the plains for the wilderness but speedily pass over it. He knew there was a danger that was lying in the wilderness, in the valley. Yes. Oh, I'm here to tell you tonight, there is a danger of going and staying and setting up right here in this valley. Yes. Don't set up a tent. Right. It's not a place for you to dwell. That's right. This is not a place for you to dwell. Come on. Come on. Valley is not a place for you to dwell. Yes, it's where some have succumbed to the pressures and died in the valley. But I'm telling you, that does not have to be you. That's right. Come on. It does not have to be you. Come on. Not brother. <coughs> oh, wow. Come on. I feel the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. It is. I, I wanted to preach something else. I, I, I'll be honest with you. I studied something else. As soon as I walked through these doors, the Holy Ghost changed my message here tonight. Stay down too long. Don't oh, stay down in those valleys. Know who can make you die in those valleys? <coughs> those lost loved ones. That's like. about them so much and cause you to die in the valleys. Jesus, Jesus. Knew, a, knew a woman. Her husband was backslid. So was their only child, her son. She came faithfully to church. She was faithful. got to that low point in life and went to that low spot. She hit that pit. She hit that dark place. It caused her to die in the valley. She could not see a way out. with you. I've been discouraged at times. <clears throat> Praying for my two older brothers. I've been out of the house of God for over 18 years. But oh, I, I won't let it get me down. Because I know there is still hope. Yeah. I'm telling you, as long as you still keep hope, as long as you still keep holding to his hand here tonight, he won't let you fail. No. Hold on to his hand. 
hold on to his hand. How many's ever read Pilgrim's Progress? If you don't have never read it, that's a requirement. If you're gonna be a child of God, you need to read it. Is that all right, Brother Parks? Yes. Pilgrim's Progress. An inspiration to millions of people. That author, John Bunyan, was put in prison for 12 years. I remember reading that book. I remember falling, falling my eyes upon a passage that said, Now at the end of this valley was another. A valley, a shadow of death. But he, being Christian, must needs go through it. Kind of like what Job said when I come forth as God. When he hath tried me, I shall come forth as God. Yes. Valleys are sometimes trying. Sometimes they are to try your faith. Remember my dad talking about a man by the name of Noble Alexander. Noble Alexander was a Cuban. He was a preacher of the gospel. He was put into prison there in Cuba for over 20 years. My dad got to meet this man at a Voice of the Martyrs convention as he was telling his testimony that during his incarceration he was beaten he was bruised untollable stripes put on his back all kinds of torture he told his testimony he said, but the, the worst thing they ever did was they put me out in the sewage pond. They stuck me up there up to my neck. He said, there in the stench and the mire and all that nasty, filthy muck. He said, I began for the first time again to can have second thoughts. No, 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 no. He said, no, no later than I'd had those thoughts in my mind, right up in front of my eyes, there grew a lily right out of the muck, the mire, all that filth. I'm telling you, he'll be your lily yeah. in the yeah. valley. Alexander said, I, I didn't feel like giving up then. But I knew that somebody was watching over me. Right, yeah. What about it tonight? Would you stand with us all over the house? Preach what I felt like the Lord laid on my heart tonight. about you young people. I'll be honest with you, I know like I know what it's like to go through valleys even as a young person. I faced the dark times in my young teenage life. I felt the loneliness. I felt that loneliness. But I'm telling you young people, even in the valleys, there's somebody that walks beside me. And I'm telling you, if you get an experience with God, there's a Holy Ghost. Yeah. He can walk beside you. Yeah. Oh, Jesus spoke of him as being a comforter. That yeah. comforter, the Greek is parakletos, yeah. meaning one called alongside to help. I'm telling you, I've felt that help at times in my life. 
I've faced through valleys. I've faced through storms. And I know you have to. But I'm telling you, you can go through it here tonight. You won't have to stop. You don't have to take up camp. But you can go through it. You can go through it here tonight. What about it, church? I'm giving these altars open. What about it? You want God to help you here tonight? Amen. God is our refuge. He's that high tower righteous can run into. Come on. These altars are open, church. Won't you come? Won't you come find a place to pray? Won't you seek the Lord here tonight? Seek Him with all of your heart. He can help you here tonight. He can help you in the midst. Whatever you go through, He is walking in the midst of you.